Hi guys, it's Gav here from DarksPlanet.tv. In today's video, me and Zach are gonna teach you all how to play cricket on the Nexus board. I've had the Nexus for a few weeks now. It is so much fun. I thought I knew how to play cricket, but as myself and many of my friends have found out, we didn't. It isn't the same rules that you go down to the pub and play cricket when you hit a bullseye on that. It's totally different. I went online for the first time, thought I knew how to play it, set it up, uh, got this guy in the Netherlands and the board come up and I was so confused. And I, every turn I had to actually press the, the sort of chat button and ask him. Uh, he was absolutely fantastic, but it's surprising how many people don't know how to play it. So Zach, can you tell us a little bit more about cricket? Of course, so um, if we look at the soft tip game in Asia and America, it's very popular over there and it's part of a competitive game as we play 5 one in the PDC, their competitive game is usually 701 and games of cricket as well. So it's a big part of the game to learn. It's, it's yeah. great fun and it's really tactical. It's a new element of the game. It is brilliant. Oh, like I said, I've had so much fun. The great thing is as well, with the Nexus, you can actually cast the screen, but it's got on there to your big television. So I'm going to get Zach to set up a demo game so we can talk you through the rules. Then afterwards, me and Zach are going to have a game on camera and I'm going to show you all how I trim him up. <laughs> I'll try it anyway. <laughs> Set a game up for a sec. Yeah, of course. So. Be, be kind with me with the players. <laughs> Let's have a look on the menu. We can see we're looking for cricket, so that's what we're going to click on. And we're going to go to standard cricket. Now, as we can see, we know what one Gav will be. It's going to be the old chap, but we're going to put me in first as the young man. And Gav can be player number two. I have aged terribly. <laughs> We could tell. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually have your own profile. We have got Darts Planet TV on there. But for this video, we just want to keep it really simple and show you how easy it is to set a game up. Okay, so if we press single now, uh, it's going to allow us to start the game. And what we're going to do, to save your arguments with your siblings, let's just flip a coin and see who goes first. And obviously, youth goes first. So that's what we're going to You need to start with. first, that's been the chance. Oh, I see. <laughs> so... Now we can see the numbers laid out on the board. This is what Gav was confused about at the start. He thought it was the cricket where you hit the bullseye and you get runs. This is completely different. So let's talk about what it means. 20 to 15 and the bullseye, the numbers you're going to want to aim for. Um, the aim of the game is to get rid of all of the numbers by hitting them, uh, hitting three marks on each number and then scoring more than your opponent. So let's do a demo of my turn. Let's say I hit a single 20. As we can see, it's got one mark. Now, if I hit a treble 20, that's going to take me up to a total of four marks. And because I've checked it out on three marks, which is what that symbol means on the screen, it allows me to um, be able to score from it. So I've got 20 points because I have four marks in total. Let's say I hit a single 20 now, taking my total up to five marks, as you can see by the graphic there. I now have 40 points and I'm in the lead, which is very true. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just like to say it's over to my turn now. There is 15 rounds in cricket and this the game is stopped earlier, which Zach will explain in a little while. So I come to the board now and I'm thinking Zach can score off 20s, but there's still a clear board down there. Do I want to waste three darts to try and lock him up, which again we'll show you shortly. Not for me personally, but 19s are available, so I would go down there. So if you could hit a single 19 for me, I'll tell you what, Zach, hit three single 19s. You can see I've got one there, another single 19. Uh, I've hit three single 19s. I now own the 19s and can score from, but I've not got any points down there because I need to hit more than three to start scoring. Over to you, Zach. Where are you going? So... My plan here is I still want to gain a bit of a lead, so I'm going to aim a dart at the 20s again. So let's say I have a really nice dart in the treble 20, and I think, hey, oh, I've got a really great lead here. Let's make sure Gav can't even I get think you're jamming, keep hitting these treble 20s <laughs> like this, Zach. It will happen in the game. <laughs> so if we now go down to the 19s, let's say I try and knock Gav out, and I hit a single 19, and then I'm very lucky and I hit a double 19. And as you can see now, it's greyed out, which means that Gav can no longer score from it, but neither can I. So Gav now has to look somewhere else on the board. 
So it's back to me now. Um, I can see that Zach's 100 points ahead. I really do need to secure a number because Zach in his next go potentially could think I'm 100 points ahead, but I'm going to stop Gav from scoring and try maybe only 18s or 17s, making it even more difficult for me. So it's a decision. Do I want to try and put points on the board and own a number or do I want to stop Zach from scoring? I, as a player, would now try and own the 18s. So let's say that I hit a treble 18. Very lucky, Dar. Um, I've now got 50, uh, sorry, I haven't got 54, but I own the 18s. Uh, I'm going to go for the 18 again. I hit a double 18. Um, I've now got 36 points, and I'm not catching up with Zach, but I have got points on the board. Let's say that I get a really lucky dart, go for the 20s, and hit a treble 20 now. I probably am over two of my dart skills here, as you'll see in our game, but I'm trying to explain. Zach is now locked out. I'm on 36 points. Uh, caught Zach up a little bit, but Zach has got nowhere to go. Sure, so if we go on to my turn, now I'm thinking, look, I'm still uh, quite a way ahead. Let's try and clear the board. So let's say I turn into Michael Van Gerwen and I hit treble 17, treble 16 <laughs> and treble 15. I'm signing you. <laughs> <laughs> and it's what we call a white horse. You get the nine marks, the highest you can get. Um, and I've then got three options to score from, but Gav is also under pressure to get rid of those before I even increase my lead. Or does he decide to increase his lead of... Uh, is, is increases 36 points to try and catch up with me. So pretty much this is how it works. Um, hopefully it's give you an idea now. Uh, just to let you know, we have turned the sound off. There's really cool features and graphics and everything that happened on here as well throughout the game. But let's just play it now, Zach, where um, let's say I have a really bad uh, go so we can show that the game can be finished before the 15 rounds. So let's say that I um, hit a 18 to try and score again. Then I miss, I hit a four, because um, I'm trying to hit points. And then I miss again, and I hit another four. As you can see, them two darts didn't get anything. Zach now has got pretty much control of the whole board. I can only score on 18s. He can actually almost win the game from this visit. So what I now know is that I need to get rid of those 18s that Gav got earlier. So I hit a treble 18. And then I've got the bullseye left. Now, a double bullseye, as they call it, which is the centre of the ball, is worth two marks. So let's say I hit one of those. And as you can see, the two marks are there. Now I only need one bullseye or an outer bullseye to close the game. And let's say I'm still Michael Van Gerwen and I hit <laughs> another double bullseye. I've then checked out the board. And as I have more points than Gav, I'm the clear winner, which will be the same result in a game in a moment. I'll tell you what, what we'll do is me and Zach will now go into a game so you can see how bad I am actually and how good Zach is. Hopefully I'll have a fluke and beat him in this one. And um, we've had a bit of fun earlier on the board tonight, but let's actually go over there, Zach, get in, get in place and we'll actually have a game for you all. Right, so we're starting this game. We put the sound on so we can show you the um, full features of the Nexus board. So. As we start, and I'm going to have a go on the 20s, it's the biggest number, and as I'm going first, that's what I'm going to try and hit. So, as you can see there, I hit one single. See, that's why he was using his hands at the start, because <laughs> <laughs> he can't hit them in real life. So what I'm going to do now is he only own one uh, 20 or one strike, he doesn't actually own them. I'm going to go up on the 20s as well. I've hit 120, not a great start. I think it must be the camera nerves. <laughs> so I now see that Gav only has one strike, so I'm going to continue scoring on the triple 20. See there are two marks, I now own the 20. Right, Zach owns the 20s now. There's no point me trying to wipe them out. I want to get some points, so I'm going to go down onto the 19s. What a dart that is. Oh. That is absolutely quality darts. Absolutely buzzing with that. Get in there, Gav. Boom! He was aiming at 20s, probably. <laughs> Right, let's have a go. See, I still know that I've got the 20s, that's where I'm going to stay. 
Okay, so at this position, I've sort of blocked the bed off, so what I'm going to do is just see if I can knock out gas mounting. And unfortunately, Zach, you didn't. Now, I'm feeling confident on the 19th <coughs> after hitting two trebles in the last one. Uh, I'm 17 points ahead. I'm going to stay down on the 19s. I think some people, Zach, now maybe potentially go for 18s with that little bit of a lead, but I'm going to carry on scoring. Uh, 119, got a 36 point lead there. So again, I'm going to start on the 20s. Oh, oh, can't believe we got this on camera and he's now got that lead. Do you remember, right, Dot, Zach? Do you remember when Gavin said he had a lead? Uh, I'm, I'm just going to stay on the 19s though. Three in there, 133 points now, that's not bad at all. It's quite a big scoring game this one, Zach. Feel like MVG. <laughs> um, so I'm going to aim one at the 20s because I still want to get a bit of a lead. And then I'm going to go down the 19s to make sure Gav can They're gone. I'm going to go to the 18s to knock someone out. Ah, and unfortunately I'm missed. I'll tell you what, let's have, let's have a quick look at the board now over here. As you can see, my 19s have now gone because Zach just took them out. Um, he's on uh, 200s. Um, I'm back on 133 and I'm going to have to sort out where to go now. So it's going to be quite a tactical game. I'm looking forward to this. Uh, I'm going to go 18s. Oh, that's all right. Right back in it. Four 18s there. Um, I owned them. Uh, obviously, got the 18. Back to just 49 points behind. Pressure's back on Zach, I say. So I'm going to stick another dart at the triple 20, hopefully. Um, and now I'm going to go over to the 18s. Or try. Oh, I'm not very successful there. No, you let me back in here, Zach. Whoa. Tell you what, what I'm going to do is to mix it up a little bit, I'm going to try and own something else because I don't want to start hitting all these triple 18s and outscoring you quite so soon, Zach. So I'm going to go down to 17s. Oh, just a 117. Probably a bad mistake. Is he going to score and punish me? I'm playing a bit more tactical. Okay, so I've hit a 20 there, but I'm looking on the board and I still see a threat that Gav could score from the 18. So I've tried to get rid of that, but I only came out with a single. Uh, so I'm now going to try and go on the 18s because I know that Zach's going to take them out and try and get a bit closer to his uh, lead there. And I've hit absolutely nothing. Two fours and a one. That's now put me in real danger because I know that Zach is um, probably going to try and take my 18s out so that I've got nowhere to score on the board. And that's exactly what Zach has done. So now I'm seeing the options. I've got a good lead. I'm going to try and knock out the 17s as well. And now I'm going to go for the 16s because I'm feeling good. Ooh, nearly there, but I've got a good few hits there. Right, the board is not looking good for me. Nearly 100 points behind. I've got nowhere to score. Zach owns the 17s and he owns the 20s. I'm going to go for 16s. That's his 19s. <sighs> okay, so I'm in a very comfortable position. What I'm going to try and do is just carry on hitting through the numbers, try and get to the end. 
treble first dart. I'm going to go for the 15s. And I'm going to try and get a point on the ball. Not come up short on the ball, but two good scores. Why don't you come and talk us through this board now, Zach? I've put it up on the big screen. Obviously, Zach's smiling now. I've let him have a very good lead here. But as you can see, I'm in really big trouble. So now all Gav can do if he wants to beat me is try and score as many points on the bullseye as possible before I get all three marks on the bullseye. And at the moment, that's quite a big task, but let's see how it plays out. Okay, so let me go back up to the board and see if I can hit a hat trick here. Um, which is three bullseyes. Feeling really confident, be very <coughs> surprised if I don't do it. No, be very surprised if I do do it. <laughs> God, I'd laugh if I went and hit a hat trick. <laughs> Here we go. <sighs> Just the one bullseye. <coughs> Zach, are you going to try and take the balls out and put me out of my misery and end this way before round 15? Absolutely. Ooh. Ah, so nothing there. So Gav is maybe thinking he's got a chance, but let's see if he can hit. So Zach is on 256. I'm on 151. He's got the full board. I need to just be... I need to have so, uh, a huge amount of luck, which it just isn't going to happen. That's the first one in the bowl. That's the second one in the bowl. Ah, oh, I thought I was going to get a hat trick then. <laughs> I wanted the telly to do some really snazzy things. All right, let's see if I can do what Gav couldn't and hit the three balls. There's one. Oh, that's a miss. However, I did still score 20 points, so it's a positive miss. And I come up short on last half. You keep letting me have a go at these bullseyes. Yeah. Boom! Another one in there, Zachy boy. Ah! Oh. I'm right back in this now, as such in points wise, but when Zach only needs two more to take me out uh, to finish the game, really, um, it's curtains for me. At one, at one left. Right, thank you for that, Zach. Really, really appreciate that knock. Um, come over here and let's have a look at the scoreboard. As you can see over here, come in Zach. Zach is the winner. Um, he's took all the different uh, scores out. Um, shows your averages, uh, sorry, your scores, the darts you had. What does the NPR stand for, Zach, just out of interest? So that is marks per round. So imagine it as how many marks you hit every round. So mine is 2.92, so the average... I was hitting every game was almost three or, or two and a bit overall. And as you can see, yours was 2.18. So, Thanks for pointing that out. Yeah, well, <laughs> and obviously it shows the score at the top as well and how many darts that were thrown. So there we go. That's a game of cricket. Uh, I hope that you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for the game today, okay. Zach. We are also going to be showing you some other games. There's half it. Um, obviously the normal 501. We're going to show you all the games that the Nexus has to offer. Like Zach just said, we hope that you've enjoyed it. Check us out at Darts Planet TV. You'll often see us online if you want a game and you might even uh, get on the video uh, channel as well. It's been great fun, hasn't it? It's been brilliant. Uh, don't forget to turn the notifications on, hit that subscribe button, and I look forward to beating you all at cricket very soon. Cheers, guys. Bye.